Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be styling outfits for spring 2022 because I love spring fashion. Transitional seasons are just the easiest. There's the most variety. You can wear jackets still, but also sandals and shorts and it's just the best. So I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm personally excited to wear and you can let me know what you're excited to wear, what you've been into, I would love to hear it. Today's video is also sponsored by Squarespace, so stay tuned to the end if you wanna hear more about them and get a discount code. Here is the first piece that I had to style. I am in love with crocheted dresses. I feel like they're just perfect for this time of year. It's knit, so it keeps you warm, but the cut of it is obviously very spring and summer. And I love it with these cowboy boots. I also wore a knit dress to Coachella with some black sneakers, and I thought that was really fun. But this is kind of like a nicer way to style one. And I have my tiny little vintage coach purse to go with it but I'm also gonna show you a more casual way to style this exact same dress. Just threw on some black Nike Air Maxes and a vintage jacket, and now that dress looks very effortless and casual, but so, so comfortable because it's stretchy, and I just, I love this look. Bringing the cowboy boots back for this denim short look because it's spring, I had to style denim shorts, but I didn't want them to be boring, so these are a pair of vintage long shorts with a linen top, which is also vintage, little vintage bag, and vintage boots. I love when that happens. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> I've worn like three outfits so far. We have a long ways to go. I think it's really cute to wear like a silk, really nice blouse with denim shorts. This blouse is from Reformation and my bag is from Paloma Wool and I think this is such a cute outfit for like going out with friends. It does feel a bit dressier just because the top is so nice but you could also pair this with heels or sneakers if you wanted to make it more casual. I just love cowboy boots and shorts. I think it's such a cute combo. Next up I am pairing two of my favorite things together and that is this midi skirt that I got from Realization Par and I I've mostly just been wearing this with like cotton tank tops and t-shirts and just letting it be the star but today I paired it with this crocheted top from Lisa Says Ga and I think this top is also just as beautiful on its own so I think they look even better together the only thing I wasn't sure about was shoes I have a pair of clogs that I think would look really cute and also Oxfords but it's starting to get a little hot in LA so I think I'm gonna try out these clogs. I'm still getting used to wearing and styling clogs since this is my first pair, but I do think they're really cute and a great transitional shoe for this in-between weather. So here's the outfit all together. I love this skirt so much I had to show you a second way to wear it. So these are just my black Oxfords. I have on a little vintage tank top and then my black cropped leather jacket and my red bag which ties into the pattern of the skirt and this is like such a perfect concert outfit date night it's just obsessed with it i had the realization that these are almost the same color so i thought i would pair them with this short dress so that it isn't too warm with this jacket it's so close for me. There's just something about the way that clogs feel that feel a little awkward with this. I'm going to try on a different boot that might work a little bit better. These sock boots that have a brown heel, so it'll still coordinate with the jacket. I'm not going to lie. I like this better. I'm not that surprised. I love a tall boot with a mini skirt. It's just a classic combination, and this jacket is also so cute with it. I think I might style another outfit with this jacket, even though it is spring, it gets cold at night, okay? I am wearing that same white t-shirt from earlier with a black leather mini skirt to match the boots and a jacket. I know these are all very much basic pieces, but I think with like a statement bag and a lot of jewelry, it would be really cute. I just tend to wear and like a lot of basics. I'm realizing as I uh, get older, <laughs> I don't know, it's an option. We're trying to branch out, okay? This is how I automatically thought to style the black mini skirt. Thought I would show that as well because it's like a really nice casual outfit 
really comfortable. I like anything with an oversized jacket thrown on in Oxfords though, so it's kind of a go-to for me. Here is an outfit that I wore last night to dinner with the same purse and jacket combo because that's my current favorite and when I find a favorite jacket or favorite bag, I kind of wear it for months on end. I just had to remind you guys, tube tops are the best. They're so comfortable and I forgot, you know, it happens every year, I forget about them, it gets hot and I remember. And so it's time to bring your tube tops out. I'm pretty sure I've had this one since high school from Brandy Melville, but you can find them everywhere, like especially on Depop and ThreadUp. And they're perfect with shorts and jeans and overalls, but I thought I would show you them with this skirt because I think it's a great combo and I've just been really into this skirt since I thrifted it. Like a month ago, I wanna wear it like every day. Here is the same tube top with some jeans. These are from Lisa Says Ga and the color I have just been in love with. As you can tell, I'm having a bit of a brown phase and these are the perfect shade of like cocoa brown. I am wearing them with some New Balances. I've been wearing them with everything from sneakers to Oxfords to boots and they're perfect. You guys know me, I had to include an outfit with a denim skirt and this is definitely on the less flattering side of denim skirts. It is pretty much just a tent of denim, but I really love it with a fitted form flattering corset top and if you're going out and it's dark or cold, throw on a you know cropped leather jacket or a biker jacket with like a lot of you know embellishments and i think that that is such a cool combo um same with this little bag like i don't know it's just me it's definitely an outfit for the girls and one that guys are going to be confused by but that's not a priority so my favorite jacket is back with the same corset from before and a fluffy little mini skirt and i have one of these in black and one in white and for some reason i've just been loving them i think it's just like really cutesy to have kind of like a little bit of volume with an outfit i just wear things that make me happy and right now fluffy little skirts and tiny little purses have been making me happy. This is from the brand Love Shack Fancy. I found it on The Real Real for like $50, I wanna say. Here's the white one. It is also thrifted, but the brand is Urban Outfitters. And there's just something about it that I've been into lately. I also got this dress from Love Shack Fancy on The Real Real. I haven't worn it yet, but it's basically like a goth house on the prairie dress with pockets and that is everything to me. Why am I so in love with something this fluffy? I don't know, but it just brings me a lot of joy. It has so much beautiful detail on it. I just feel like they need a boot, but I do like them with the clog. I'm just trying to wear the clogs, guys. Help me out. <laughs> Here is the last outfit, and I feel like I finally figured out what looks the best with clogs, and that is a loose jean. They just look the least amount of awkward and I really like it. So I'm glad we figured that out. I wish I wore more color in this video, but everything I tried to style that was colorful, I just really didn't like. And that just happens sometimes. I tend to be kind of a neutral color person, but I've been loving this pop of color as far as a bag goes. So maybe try that <laughs> if you're like me and struggle with wearing color, give me your tips. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, and if you're a regular on my channel, you've probably already heard of them, but if not, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and run your business. At this point in 2022, everyone I know either has a website or wants to make one, whether it's for themselves, like a portfolio page, a blog, they're starting an online store, or starting a new business. Having a website is super important, and and Squarespace makes the entire process so easy and streamlined. I've been using Squarespace to host my website for years now, and I love that they have custom domains available. So I have lindsayram.com, and they also have thousands of templates to choose from that are completely customizable to your needs and likes. 
And if you're someone that is looking to start a blog, Squarespace has outstanding blogging and commenting features. So you can actually have threaded replies, likes, and comments underneath your blog posts. And that just helps create community within your website and your blog, which is so key when it comes to building an audience. On the technical side of having a blog, you can draft, categorize, and schedule your posts to go live, which is so helpful when it comes to creating content. You can schedule and batch everything out. Squarespace also gives you access to powerful analytics tools so you can get to know your site visitors a bit more and understand how they interact with your content. You can learn about page views, traffic sources, audience geography, and more. If you're interested in creating a website with Squarespace, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem or use the code lindsayrem at checkout. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week with some new content.